Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing some alcohol ink panels and I'm going to be using dyes with them to incorporate them into my card making. I sometimes make these great alcohol ink panels that I'm obsessed with and then can't figure out really great ways to incorporate them. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ways today. I'm going to be using some Ranger alcohol inks for this, and this is just how I store them. I don't have a crazy amount, but I love the ones that I have. And then I'm also going to be using some alcohol ink blending solution. For my paper, I much prefer alcohol ink cardstock. I will link a comparison video that I've done recently from alcohol ink cardstock to Yupo paper here. So you'll see it somewhere on the screen here. Uh, if you're if you want to get a little bit more familiar with those two papers. So how I'm going to do these is first I'm going to make some panels and then I'm going to go into card making. So right here I am using alcohol ink cardstock and eggplant alcohol ink. This little air puffer is called an air puffer or a, a camera blower. I've seen it called a super blower. I will link the a, a few links in, from Amazon in the description, which is where I got my, actually I got mine from Best Buy, uh, but I've seen a lot of people get it off of Amazon. So I will link that in the description for you. I love the way it works for alcohol ink. I get a really feathery look and it's completely changed my alcohol ink obsession because now I love every panel I make <laughs> rather than liking one out of three or one out of four. And um, I got that idea from Jessica Frost Ballas. So what I'm doing is just adding a drop of alcohol ink and then right over the alcohol ink, I'm adding some gold mixative. Now in between those, I will take my air puffer and sort of rotate my cardstock so that I get this really fun feathery look. I love the lines that you get when it dries a little bit, sort of like over each other, the colors dry a little bit over each other. And I like the texture as well that you get over that. So anytime I drop alcohol ink or an alcohol ink mixative, I will drop a piece, I'm sorry, I drop a small drop of a blending solution over it, even when I'm adding the mixative. And then I take my air puffer and just sort of rotate my cardstock around it so that I get this really fun feathery look. For this panel, I know that I'm actually going to be die cutting this later, and I'm going to do that in a few different pieces. So I'm not too worried about the overall feel or appearance of it. I just know that I want to get the alcohol ink completely over the cardstock so that I get the most uh, die cutting that I can from this panel. I'm going to move on now to a panel that I know that I will be using as a card front. So I'm going to worry a little bit more about the feel and the flow of the alcohol inks on this paper. This is currently cut to four and a quarter by five and a half, which is an A2 sized card. And I will cut this down a little bit later. We'll get into that more later, but I just wanted to let you know that of course you could always cut down your panels if you're liking a specific section a little bit more. So again, I'm going in with eggplant and the uh, gold mixative, and I did use some extra colors on that previous panel, and you can go in the description to find all of the colors that I used. And I'm going from the bottom left to the top right. I tend to really go for this flow or this feel only because I just think it looks like it's sort of like a cloud or it's sort of moving in that direction and I love the movement that I get from it. So again, just placing some alcohol ink down, some uh, blending solution right on top of the alcohol ink drops and then blowing that around with my air puffer and then putting the gold mixative right on top and doing the same thing. I'm gonna put that to the side now and use this Peony Bloom set. Now I'm using layer C first, and this is a little bit different than the others that we're doing today because I'm actually going to be creating my card front and not cutting my card front from an already created alcohol ink panel. I know the look that I wanna go for for this specific card, so this is actually gonna be the first card that we make today. I'm gonna to go back to those panels just after this and show you how I've created cards with those as well. So for layer C of the Peony Bloom, you can see that it just cuts out this A2 sized die with a 
basic sort of like shadow shape of a flower in the top right and bottom left hand corner of this rectangle and then those leaf um, shapes that you see off to the side there actually get cut out of the same die they just come out of the center and that negative space so it's really nice because you get all of the pieces that you need in each die you don't have to keep going back to get the leaves or the flower so what I'm going to do is add cranberry and pink sherbet and I'm doing this because in general when I color flowers I like to add a shadow shade and then a highlight shade so I thought if I sort of combined them together and started in the center and worked outward I would get that floral feel and I think it did a really good job I'm adding the gold mixative again directly to the center of where this flower is going to be and you can be sure where the center of the flower is because you can always look back to layer a and see where the uh, details are going to cut out of another piece of cardstock so I'm doing the same thing, making the same motions, doing the rotating of the cardstock. And like I said, this is different because now I'm creating this alcohol ink with a purpose. I know that I want this to look flowery and I know exactly what I want to come out of this. So it's a little bit easier now for me to create a look with alcohol ink because I know exactly how I'd like to use them. For the leaves, I'm going in with each individual leaf and I'm using lettuce, which is also by Ranger. It's an alcohol ink and I'm just placing it there sort of at the bottom center and then putting some alcohol ink blending solution over it and then using my air puffer to sort of blow it out a bit and to cover the entire image or die cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut layer A out of some white cardstock and when I place it over there you can see that I just get this really cool look so it did a really great job of sort of this texture and looking like it's possibly this flower texture and the same thing with the leaf once I put the detail die cut over that and then I went ahead and added with the hello die and a sentiment that says you mean the world to me from the thanks lingo clear stamp set and I just added it all together and I put it on a white a2 size card base I really love the way that this turned out I think that this is a really great vibrant card it was really fun to make and it was pretty simple as well so I love this technique for this set of dies especially I'm going to go back to that first panel I made and since I'm going to be die cutting pieces out of this I want to make sure that it's dry if it remains tacky at all the alcohol ink will stay on my dies and my die cutting machine plates and not that that's the worst thing in the world but I'd rather it not happen so I'm just going to go ahead and take my heat tool and run that over a couple times making sure not to leave the heat on for too long because then it will warp my cardstock. I'm going to be using the Big Friend Sugar Script dies. Now these dies have the shadow die and the word die. So I'm actually going to be using both. I'm using my Gemini Junior and I've just recently learned from a Carissa Wiley video that I can do this upside down. Instead of having it upside down, or not upside down, if you know what I'm talking about. Usually you would die cut it facing up on a Gemini Junior but I've learned to die cut facing down. So it's much easier for me to do this backwards and facing down. So thank you, Carissa, for that little tidbit. We learn things every day, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the actual word die out of a white cardstock. And I'm gonna add that over my shadow die that I used and die cut that out of my alcohol ink cardstock. And it just gives this really cool background. It's hard to see there in my hands and on the camera, but on cardstock, uh, you can it really jumps out at you and you can really see the difference now for my other die I just did the inverse so I took the word die and cut that out of that alcohol ink cardstock and then I took the shadow die and cut that from white cardstock and just did the exact opposite so now the actual uh, word is in the alcohol ink and the shadow die itself is in the white cardstock and I really love that I got two great die cuts from uh, just that one alcohol ink panel for this card I used the Aurora set and I used layer A here I used the outer section of layer A which is this floral or flowery shape that you see and I do use the inside of it as well in my next card 
but I just wanted to show you here how I created this one first. And for sake of creating the cards in the way that I created the panels, I wanted to show you this one first. Um, but we are, I actually did cut the Aurora die out for this card coming up here. Just wanted to let that be known. So I'm going to go ahead now and use the card panel or the alcohol ink panel that I used and intended to be my card front. So I'm going to, again, here I'm going to cut out my Aurora die for layer A, and I'm using a gold metallic cardstock. I think that this will go really well with that gold mixative that's in the alcohol ink art that I've done there on that cardstock. And now I'm just going to kind of see how I'd like it, but I'm not getting enough pop with that gold because it is pretty thin. So I'm going to take layer B and cut that out of a white piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to adhere the gold metallic cardstock to the white cardstock. And because these are layering dies, I get that sort of kaleidoscope feel or that shadow feel. So I really like the way that this enhances the gold there and makes it stand out. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that to the top center portion of my card front. And by the way, I did cut this card front down to three and three quarters by five inches. And then I used the Smile Sugar Script die just to place that right over. I did cut this out also from that same metallic gold cardstock, but also from white cardstock and sort of offset it so that you got a little bit of that shadow as well. Again, from the Lynx Lingo die, I'm sorry, stamp set, I used the sentiment, so glad we're friends. I added some gems here, and I really just love the way that all of these came together. They were really quick and easy, and I was able to have a lot of fun. I, alcohol ink uh, art is really free and fun, and there's not a lot of rules. You can't control it very well, and it's just sort of a nice step outside of the box, for me at least. So I love having ideas of how I can use this art on my projects. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Please go to the description for all of the supplies used today and for links to the blog post and the coordinating blog post over at Birch Press Designs. Thanks so much. I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.